What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the 12 Days of Xmas. Today we got a weird one for you. Um, I don't do these very often. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't even know what day this is of the 12 days. I just know that it's going to be in here. Um, I got sick and had to fill in a couple of gaps, so this is going to be one of them. I was saving this for a rando day, but now is as good a time of any. Um, I always hear... When I'm opening packs, you know, uh, just buy the singles, just buy the singles. And it's like, dude, you know, it's a content channel. Uh, we open packs, but uh, I also do just buy the singles. So what we're going to do today is a mail day. Um, Long-winded way to start that. But uh, I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I've been buying over the last, I don't know, this has to go back all the way through to Phyrexia All Will Be One, I think. Maybe even a little earlier. Um... So yeah, I went to, actually it has to go back to Command Fest Seattle or earlier because that's, uh, I had this bottom card here with me when I went there. So yeah, we'll start, um, Acre Moon Gauntlet. You know, I don't, I don't know what I pick these up at. I don't, I don't have the prices. Um, the next mail day coming after this, I'll make sure to stay uh, a little more, you know, try to, try to be able to read off how much we paid. But this was way cheaper than I thought it would be. This this card was so expensive at one point, and I think I got this for like 16 bucks for this uh, oil slick foil for the Icker Moon Gauntlet. I really want to build a straight infect and proliferate version of Atraxa, so um, I had to pick one of those up because I only pulled one in the whole... Or if I even pulled one out of my whole opening of um, Phyrexia, so... Uh, there and back again, I bought one of these just because um, it's one of those cards where I thought I was going to be able to use it and make tokens in uh, Corvold. It runs a little too slow. Maybe we'll make it into the rebuild at Jaleva. Who knows? Uh, Shadow in the Warp. It's a card from Lore, uh, Warhammer. And it uh, basically just, you know, it's one of those cards I, I, I didn't buy the... Uh, the deck set till way later and I'm not going to open it so um, just make sure creatures cost two less to cast for the first one each time uh, each turn and then uh, whenever somebody casts their first non-creature spell it uh, deals two damage to them blood for the blood god another one uh, I hear this can be a really good spell I haven't seen it put to great use it's another one that might go in the uh, Jaleva deck uh, flame of anor Another one that I bought probably to go in the Jaleva deck. Uh, when I retool that thing, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be like uh, obviously huge spells and free turns. That's what you do with Jaleva with ways to combo out and win with with like infinite mana and or just tons of treasures is going to be the sub theme. But uh, there's going to be a unwritten goal in that in that deck of uh, everything goes into exile. So I'm going to mill and exile, but everything goes into exile. Um, Display of power can't be copied. Copy any number of target instance or sorceries. Okay, well, there you go again. Another Jaleva deck, uh, Elven Chorus. Uh, this isn't really, I just bought this because at the time I wasn't gonna buy any. Uh, oh, and we got Flowering of the White Tree on the back. I wasn't gonna buy much of the Lord of the Rings Flame of Anor. Um, oh, what do we got here? Here's, a, here's an actual like spec is what i think this was or maybe i just want to be able to play these without yeah no this is spec stuff uh so we got born upon a win actually we're just gonna do it this way born upon a winds call the rings dawn of a new ages lighted halfling that display of power set doors of durin i thought that was a pretty decent card bought a few of those i didn't know you know for all you know these cards could have gone just skyrocketing I did get a borderless Flame of Anor. That was a little more expensive than I thought it was going to be out of the gate, but, you know, Forge Anew. Last March of the Ents. Ooh, we got a, speaking of all, all will be one, we got a Step and Complete Vraska here. Um, a Retro Foil Mystical Tutor, and then a Foil there and back again in that little order. Um... So yeah, when I talk about you know how I uh, sell cards to buy the next product and stuff, occasionally you know to complete old sets, I'm like, ah, do you want to go back and open more 
uh, you know, Phyrexia all blue one. No, I really don't. Uh, there's no chase there. And I, I'm trying to always not go back and open more March of the Machine because I never did hit a serialized Praetor. So sometimes we go back and just buy some cards, um, you know, keep ourselves from doing that. So I bought a couple of these. I got a Scythrix, a foil. Um, I do have a Scythrix deck. So um, I, I bought one of these and I've, I've been waiting for a reprint forever. Love that reprint. And then I also, you know, I had to get the Halo foil. So I bought that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, we got a Sword of Forge in Frontier. Um, not the best sword. Unless you play an additional land. But, I mean, eh. I think we got a, just a shitload of Jenga Taxius here. <laughs> Little draw engine. Yeah, that's just a whole bunch of Jenga Taxius, I think. Jing oh, well, we got some extras back there, too. Got uh, Scythrix in Etched. And a Foil Enlightened Tutor. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> uh, and then we got another Skithrix and Etched. And a Step and Complete Luca Bound Ruin. Uh, Bloodthirster, if I remember right. Oh yeah, this is another one for the Jaleva deck because I want extra combats to play those big ass exiled spells for free. First strike in haste, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere in your hand, deals damage equal to that man. Okay, yeah, that's, damn man. I must have been on a, I was on a tear to rebuild that Jaleva deck and then decided not to. Um, Rafine's Tower. I don't know if, uh, if you guys have noticed, but I think these versions are, you know, kind of cool. And the Triomes are actually holding up pretty well. Uh, we got a Step and Complete Shieldred, the Apocalypse. I could never hit one of those, so I said, F it, we're buying it. The Reaver Cleaver, I make use of this in Corvold for sure. Uh, we got a Borderless Foil, Force of Will, RKF Art. Uh, Apex Devastator, I had to go back and buy one of these because I never hit one in all of my um, Pain for the Drain series way back in the day when I was trying to pull a Mana Drain. I never did hit a... Apex Devastator, so who doesn't want the 10 drop Cascade, 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 Cascade? Uh, we got a Step and Complete Tyrannix Rex. Um, Azel, Scion of Atraxa, I bought a couple of these. Definitely wanted to, I thought about making that deck and I was like, no, we'll just put that in the Atraxa deck. It's got Toxic too, does some other shenanigans, so... Uh, here's another little TCG play. Oh, so yeah, Saw in Half. This is legal. I cannot believe it. This card's so good. I use it in Corvold all the time. Just Saw in Half, like Dockside or, you know, other cards with ETBs. Uh, Grave Crawler. Combo piece. Didn't have one. Needed it. Uh, Final Fortune. This is just, I just wanted to have an old card that I had when I was a kid that uh, I most definitely gave away to someone. So I bought another one. Um, there's that Ickermoon Gauntlet in regular. Uh, Sulfim. I wanted to have... I don't necessarily need all of the Step and Completes, but I wanted all the Praetor, or not the Praetors, the uh, the new Legendary Phyrexians. The Dominus series, I guess is what it is. Um, I wanted them all in Step and Complete, so... There's the Tekathal. Uh, let's see what we got here. Vraska, step complete. Remember at one point in time that was supposed to be some money. Sword of Sinew and Steel. And then the Big Daddy. This, so, like I said, this I bought this before Command Fest Seattle 2023. Um, and I bought it on TCG Player, pictures and everything. Um, the old Underground Sea. But it took me two years to save up for this, and I used nothing but credit card, like 1.5% cash backs, and TCG player uh, bonus bucks. And in two years, I was able to buy this 8.5 revised Underground C. Um, so this is definitely the, one of the coolest cards that I have. Um, 
and I mean it's it's solid it, it really bothers me that on the bottom here I can't tell if that's on the card or on the sleeve I'm, I'm guessing it's on the card itself so that that's irritating but I mean hey what are you gonna do it's an 8.5 underground C so it, it is what it is you know um, that's one of my if not my most prized card that I have um, but we're slowly working our way into having um, all the dual ants. I think I have like four out of the ten. Uh, anyway, so that is a uh, mail day video. Don't do those very often. Um, I do have another one coming up. It's just uh, I'm waiting on a lot of stuff to get here with the holidays and stuff. So we'll uh, we'll call that part one of two, I guess. And um, yeah. Don't forget to comment on the video. And you guys have cards that you like to collect or that you know you, you've been acquiring recently, definitely talk about it in the comments. Um, and then make sure you're publicly subscribed so that you can get in on the giveaway on the first of the year. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I don't even know what we're gonna do. <laughs>